Hey you guys, what's up? It's been a minute since I have updated you. I haven't really been doing that much super exciting, that's why I haven't filmed a video. Um, I just went through and painted everything white that I had put up previously, like the 2x4 studs along the windows and then this wall that is going to be my bathroom wall. Then I also finished the wood along the driver's side. I still have to go through and add like the top trim piece, but I'm going to do that a little bit later when I have a little bit more time. This is good enough for now. I just have been trying to get the bus livable. I currently live like 45 minutes away from where the bus is parked, so like I'm driving an hour and a half almost every single day. It's getting old, whatever. It's really cozy out here. It's like a little clubhouse. I'm living in it. Dig it. It's an out of 10. And the bus isn't even done yet, so that's cool. Um, I have an old laminate countertop that I used in my apartment when I lived in Atlanta for my desk. And I'm going to try to use that also as my kitchen countertop. But in the countertop, I am going to put a shampoo bowl because I do hair and I would love to be able to do hair in my bus. Um, so I found a shampoo bowl that also is as deep as a like traditional, I guess, sink. Um, so it could double as both. So I'm going to be installing that. And then I'm also going to be installing a 15 gallon freshwater tank that's going to drip into like a 5 gallon Lowe's bucket. And I also cut the holes for my water inlets the other day, so like, don't judge the giant asshole. It went better than expected, which is saying something, I'll show it to you guys. It was terrifying. I could literally like physically like stick my arm through my bus. So I guess let's get started. First order of business, check out this water inlet. I also put in this 12 volt extension cord adapter just so I could avoid draping extension cords through the bus window. This was like super easy. It was like the size of my standard like hole saw. I didn't show you guys because it was literally so easy. It's literally so dark in here because it's raining and we're parked underneath a barn so I'm using this light. Sorry if it's driving you crazy. Also finished my ceiling the other day. Um, I just ran out of screws, so things are just like casually propped up and like not 100% like f f level with the rest of the tin. Um, just because I haven't, you know, like completely attached it, but it's good enough that like it's not gonna fall on my head and I'm not gonna die. Sorry I haven't been filming that much of this process. I just keep getting so frustrated because my bus is on like an angle, literally like this. So building a kitchen cabinet and trying to make everything square on top of the bus already not being level. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just so frustrated. I'm on a farm and there isn't literally, like everything is dirt. Like nothing is level and this is the closest that I can be to the extension cords for power so I have to be over here. I'm sweating. It's like the middle of freaking December here and it's like 90 degrees in Georgia. Like it's gross. I hate it. 